Welcome to today's tutorial, today we will look at the function keys. That is we will learn what the keys from F1 to F12 are meant for. So, let's start in the increasing order. F1 is the short key for help if you are stuck on any command in AutoCAD and just want to get a vision on how it is used. Kindly press the F1 key to open help document. Here you can find the theory about how to use that command. Moving on to F2, it is expanded history. This displays an expanded command history in the command window. Next is F3, it is used for object snap. Object snaps are the markings provided by the software in order to help us identify the endpoints, midpoints, intersections, tangents, and others, which makes it easy to work in AutoCAD. Then we have F4, it is a 3D object snap. This is the same as object snap, but in a 3D model. Next is F5, this is isoplane. Used in isometric drawings to switch between different isoplanes. Then comes F6, this is dynamic UCS, again used in 3D modeling. To take software assistance in drawing on different planes. Next is F7, grid display, this simply turns on and off the display grid we have at the starting of any AutoCAD file. Then we have F8, that is ortho mode. It is used to make straight lines. By making ortho on, we force the line or polyline to move only in the horizontal and vertical direction. Next comes F9, grid snap. Used to trace the grid snap points and draw according to the grid snaps. We don't generally use this as it restricts the freedom of drawing. Then is F10, which is polar tracking, it is used to trace down different angles as per our requirement, as it would be difficult and time-taking to do that without taking the help of the software. Now it's F11, it's object snap tracking. It helps to place a magnetic track to identify the same length between two lines. This tracks the cursor horizontally and vertically from object snap locations. The last one is F12, this is dynamic input, this displays distances and angles near the cursor and accepts input as you use tab between fields. I hope all these short keys are clear to you, we will look into them deeply as we proceed with our tutorials and use them. Do watch our next video as we move a step ahead with our tutorials. This covers both of today's topics. I hope this topic is clear to all and in case you are facing any doubt. Kindly drop any questions or doubts in the comment section.